Previously on Skyrim Life, I've killed so many people. I, I'm starting to wonder: Is this really the way to become a hero? Is this really the right road for me? The right path? Oh, it's definitely the right path. Is it just me, or are her poofs expanding? Yeah. You know, I'm pretty sure this, this, whatever this is, this water is, is put here so people can jump in it. You know, they fast travel over there, come, 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 come here, and then jump in it instead of, you know, taking the stairs. I'll do it. Before the ancient flame. We, we, grieve. Grieve. we grieve. We grieve. For the fallen. We shout right shout. behind you. And for ourselves. We take, we our, take leave. our leave. Sad face. My people. My people. Let me say a few words for our. Uh, lost old man here <coughs> we have all gathered here to pay our respects to the nice haired dude over there behind me he took care of his hair very nice very nice we all loved his hair but well as all good things must come to an end, so must his hair. And his life, of course, but you get my point. I speak now with a uh, heavy heart, and I say to all of you who have known him much longer than I, since I have only known him for a few like days or maybe, maybe even a few hours, I, but I liked his hair, you know, but uh, Yes, let's. Uh, anyway, that, 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 that's not, not that's not that's not the point. I, I'm just saying that that. Uh, uh, what I mean is that I'm sure all of you, all of us here, loved him and his hair. But well, we all experience loss in our lives, some more than others, and yet. We must move on. I know it is sad. His hair was magnificent, and yet creepy. But you know, magnificent all the same. It is I'm right very you. sad. <clears throat> it is very sad to right see you, you go, my friend. To, to see you go, my friend. I will, 
I will always remember your beautiful hair. Your I've got your back. I'm right behind you. <sighs> I'm right behind you. Just rest in peace, my friend. My friend's hair. <coughs> you know. Yeah. In my dream, I see the line of Harbingers start with Iskramor. Each of them ascends to Savangard. Until we come to Terrug, who first turned us to the ways of the beast. He tries to enter Savangard, but before he can even approach Tsun, he is set upon by a great wolf who pulls him into the hunting grounds where Hirsin laughs with welcoming arms. Derfug seems regretful, but also eager to join Hirsin after a lifetime of service as a beast. Then I see every next Harbinger turn away from Sovngarde and enter the hunting grounds of their own accord. Until it comes to me and I see Great Sun on the misty horizon, beckoning me. It appears I have a choice, and then, at my side, a stranger I had not seen before. As I look into his eyes, we turn to see the same wolf who dragged away Tervug, and he and I draw weapons together. I realize this is only a dream, but a strong enough dream to inspire a man like me to take to writing, so it must be of some import. This newcomer, it seems, made of decent stock. He calls himself the Killer, and has already impressed some of the circle with his metal. I still keep my own counsel on his place in my dream, for now. Let us see what kind of destiny he is carving before hitching to him. We should be honoring Kodlak, no matter our own thoughts on the blood. You're right. It's what he wanted. He deserved to have it. Godlag used to speak of a way to cleanse his soul. Don't be sad. Even Don't be death, sad, man. You know the legends of the girl. tomb of Iskramor. Don't be sad. There, the souls of Don't the Harbingers will no. heed the call Don't of the Northern sad. Steel. We can't even enter the tomb without more threat. And it's in pieces, like it has been for a thousand years. And dragons were just stories, and elves once ruled Skyrim. What the fuck does this guy want from me? Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, you can't catch me, you can't catch me, ha ha.